Dave, first I've got to say this to you, Dave. You look fantastic. Thank you, you look, you, you look, you look great. You sound great. Where, where are you? What state are you? Where are you in your life right now, Dave? Um, well, well, I haven't officially announced that I've retired, but, but I have. I'm not going. I'm not going to be fighting again. You won't. You won't see me in a boxing ring again um, for a fight, at least. So um, that was only officially made up in my mind about six weeks ago because it, I knew I'd get off the fight in Liverpool on the uh, Smith Fowler show. Fowler, yeah. yeah, and I did get off it. But what I made sure I was in the gym for when the call came, and when it came. There was no desire to fight. I didn't even want to know who. I was like, do you know what? I don't want to fight on that, and I don't want to fight again. So that that that's the end of me uh, my boxing career. But a few a few factors came into it. And obviously, I haven't fought for two years, so totally inactive. Uh, and age thirty eight. I don't know. Uh, Where the years go, Dave? Where it's the flown, years go? It's flown. It's flown. So 38, and um, yeah, the hunger, the hunger is no longer there, and, and that that that's massive. Which is why your, your elite fighters like Tyson, like your Canelos, your, your AJs, they've, they've got as much as more, as much money as they'll ever need. But that hunger's still there, and and that's because they're fighting for glory, and the, the glory had gone in my career. It was just fighting for the, for the extra bit, bit of money there and there, and at what cost, you know. I feel like I've got, I feel like I was at I feel like I was at a, a, a roulette table in a casino and I had my chips stacked up there and it was like shall I go and take these chips and cash them in or shall I do another roll of, of the roulette and I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna take them, cash them in because I've got my faculties and I'm healthy and that that's the decision I came to. So I've just um, I've just been keeping busy, I've set a little business up to doing a um, bit of building work, things like that. I've got, got my properties. I'm, I'm happy. Um, I'm content with with how, how it ended. So two years ago, I was in a bit of a dark, a dark place. There, I've been in a bit of a bad position, um, and I persevered. To be fair, even though some of the results were me going go my way, I persevered. I persevered, and in the end, I don't know. Still okay. chasing yeah, the dream. Okay. Yeah, I was chasing the money yeah. more than anything. You have to be, be realistic. I, I needed the money, and but I just kept persevering. And there were many times where I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to just go and get a job now. And thankfully, I didn't. And yeah, think things are good. So I'm happy. I'm, I'm healthy, and I'm, I'm glad, glad to be here. It seems, isn't it? Doesn't it seem yeah. a peace job? A very sensible man. You look at peace. You're happy with yeah, you, what yeah. you've done in your life. You're a successful man in your own right. Yeah. Because you've had the sense to walk away, bang at the right time. Yeah. You know, and you can always go back to it if a Lucas Fafa comes along. Yeah, yeah. You can always go back. Yeah, but yeah. let me tell you, you've done the right thing. Yeah. You've studied your family, your children, you want to be there for them. Yeah. You want to have the best state of health and mind yeah. when you've got yeah. that. Yeah. And you look great, David. Thanks, John. He does, doesn't he? look great, yeah, yeah. mate. Yeah. I've always enjoyed your career, mate. You yeah. was always a good fighter. Yeah. And I'll tell you now, every time you got in the ring, no matter who you fought, I always said, David Price can pull the biggest upset box yeah, yeah, at any yeah. given time, yeah. and you can do that, mate. I, I, think, I think that was part of the attraction of, with, with me. It was the, the people wanted to watch me because it was the will he, will he pull it off? Will he turn up? Will he pull it? And, and obviously, I had my own vulnerabilities. But that that that's the excitement added part to, of it, isn't it? And, and, yeah, it made yeah. people want to watch me. Yeah. Um, so I think I think some people probably miss watching me fight, but. Like I said, two years have flown since I fought Derek, and um, I'm looking at the younger generation coming through now, like your Joe Joyce's, yeah, yeah. Your, you know, um, John John Fisher, all, all, all them young lads yeah. coming through. I'm enjoying watching them yeah. without without studying and analysing them. In case, you get in off case I have to fight them, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, enjoying, there, I'm like enjoying just watching yeah. as you're a fan. Than, it's you're nice. Be, you're you're yeah, better yeah. than becoming yeah, a knight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so, yeah. Well, let me tell you. You've been unlucky a few times as well. You had Povetkin, didn't you? Yeah. How that fight wasn't over, I don't know. Cause I he know. just come back from the dead. Yeah, Thompson yeah, as well, mate. Let's not forget that. Yeah, yeah. You know. I think every, even in most of my fights, um, the ones I lost, in, in, and I think the majority of them, I had the opponents either on the floor or, or hurt or he wobbled. It, so, because you know, and, and it kind of like puts me as an early man or whatever. But I always believe. What's for you won't pass you. If it, if it was meant to win that Father fight, said that yeah, of all his life. Yeah. What's yeah. for you won't pass you. Yeah. Like. Yeah. You know your name came up a couple of weeks ago before the AJ fight. Yeah. 
I was talking to AJ, I was doing an interview with him at the ground about three days before the fight, and I was talking to him about him being hurt, yeah. and he was talking about Ruiz, but he always talks about when you cracked him in sparring, you know, he yeah, talks yeah, about it, he, talks, yeah. he said that was when I was hurt, I was gone, I had yeah, no idea yeah, how I was, yeah. when, when Price hit big AJ over right hand. Yeah, I did, yeah. Big honest kid, AJ. He is, yeah, he is, and uh, that's why, I mean, I would never ever mention anything that's happened in Spar, but I, I did let the cat out the bag with that because there was talk of me potentially getting a shot at him a couple of years, three years ago or something, and I thought, if, any, if now's the time to do it, yeah. to drum up a bit of, of interest, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, uh, he, he, was, he was a young man, but, yeah. but, uh, but still, he was a two-time ABA champion, and I, I was like a bit of a novice pro, and he was another one, though, and I knew he was going to be good yeah. as well, but off, just off sparring and just, just yeah. little, little, little uh, intricate things. Yeah. And, yeah um, so, so basically, you got them all at the right time. All you've done, yeah. Dave, is go around bashing up young kids. Yeah. Young six, <laughs> young six <laughs> foot six <laughs> inch kids. It's the truth, hey, isn't it? Yeah, and I can dine out on that. <laughs> yeah, not wrong. Hey. But you don't know. <laughs> no, you don't. Said he's, no. probably, he's probably one of the biggest punchers in boxing. Yeah. yeah. Him. Oh, look yeah. at the size of the man. The man's a dinosaur. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And yeah. when you get in that ring, Big, big imposing man, you can't afford to get it down the pipe off him because it's over. Yeah. I don't care who you are. Yeah. That's the truth. George Savala would have been knocked out with him. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the biggest compliment in boxing. Yeah. Yeah. And he, never, right he, on the he never got wobbled at all. Oh. Hey, listen, I, I don't want to keep going back to it, but you're right, the Povetkin, that was a second away from. from yeah. that, and, and what a win that would have been, Dave. That's it was gone, right. mate. Yeah, it was yeah, he was, he, amount, don't yeah. worry about that, mate. The amount of people who, who come up to me and say, oh, I did early Adam this, that. You, you should have jumped on him, you should have been quicker jumping on him. And hindsight's great, and, but yeah, what I'm people forget is I, I, I'd just been put down myself, still, so I was yeah. still hurt a little bit, so yeah. I was being a bit cagey, a bit cautious. And he, he's obviously proved it when he fought Dillian White, and he's, he's knocked out so, so called iron chin fighters yeah, like that. And I mean, knocked out yeah. like your Carlos Tachans, Drew yeah. Alpers, who Deontay Wilder stopped on his feet. Yeah. Yeah. But, but he, um, Pebekin chins him, he yeah. does them, and it's his accuracy with Pebekin. He just had this, this because he was hitting me, and I thought, it's not an indie shot, but he waits for the right one. And that good. was that. But that, that fight, I, I, I come out of that fight, a winner in defeat yeah. kind of thing. A lot of, a lot of people like got line. back on, on side with me and was like, you showed artist and, and, you, and you're entertained. But um, I, I struggled a little bit after that fight. Mentally. Well, you also took a bad cut in your mouth, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, my mouth was a mess, yeah. I struggled a little yeah. bit mentally after that fight. And, um, yeah. uh, but, but that's what I was saying about perseverance. Uh, I thought, I've got to keep going, I've just got to keep moving forward. But, in hindsight, when I look at like it was a bad knockout, you know, it was a bad knockout, and that's why I'm thankful that I'm, 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 I'm well, well now. you know, yeah, yeah I'm well, good, yeah. The other way. yeah been a lot can, of fighters yeah. Yeah. not been this as hard, what's been unlucky, hasn't it? Yeah, it is, mate. You know, it is. Got, like you say, this, this sport can be can be so so um, cruel at times, but thankfully yeah, I'm on I'm on the lucky ones. Oh, you are, okay, you are, yeah. Dave. You are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, over the years, my, my years in the game, so I look at the, the really good fighters. Who have been at the top and at the peak, top major shows, who are now basically on their arse. Yeah. Just kidding. I, mean, I know yeah. a lot of them. I'm not going to run off the list. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not going to yeah. run off the list. But what yeah. I do is I stockpile a list of the ones like you, yeah. who I've seen come through from the amateurs on yeah. and crack it and make it and either fall short or get all the way. And then I've seen you come down the other side like this and seeing like this today and hearing him like this today. Yeah. This lifts me, John. Yeah. Feels me, Listen, it does. It makes it honestly. Brilliant. Yeah. You know, but what you've got to look at. You won everything as an amateur. Yeah. You went to the Olympic Games. Yeah. British champion. Yeah. You know, Commonwealth champion. Yeah. And you've been one of the best names in the sport. Yeah, yeah I have. Yeah. That, that, so yeah. that's yeah. a resume and a half. It is. You know, yeah, and a lot of people, is. if people had a quarter of what you did, yeah. they'd be happy, wouldn't they? Yeah. I know would, I would. You would. You I would. would. But you know, you you do have your days where you do think, what if, you know, what <laughs> yeah. if that, that, and you all have them days, and and I mean, I don't have too many of them, but sometimes if if like when the Olympics was on, the yeah. Olympics was on the telly, and I was like, "What happened to me in the Olympics? Because I lost the semi-final to Camarell and got stopped, and 
I started getting regrets over the Olympic Games. That was 12 years ago or something like that. And I was like, oh, come on, what am I doing? Let it go. We've got to let it go. Move on. The camera yeah. of the world. If they'd have turned pro, they'd have won world titles themselves. Yeah, I yeah, know. There was, yeah, there, yeah, there yeah. was very, very, very elite yeah, amateur yeah, boxers. Yeah. The best oh, in the world. Well, he was, he was sponsored by, was it sponsored by Dolce & Gabbana or whatever he was sponsored by. Really? And he had, he had a great life. That's why he stayed, in, he stayed in that World Series of Boxing. Exactly. You know, the thing that you looked at and said, no, stop that for a game well, of soldiers. Not me, not me. Those people what they called Olicon. They got a group of people that get into the washes nuts three or four times a day, you know what I'm saying? That's what you're up against. We're going to work every day, doing yeah. our thing. Yeah. And you're going to up against them people. Yeah. Yeah, it's the truth, I want it. Yeah, it is. Uh, so there you go.